My name is Julia, and today I'm going to be reading One Grain of Rice by Demi. Long ago in India, there lived a Raja who believed that they was wise and fair as a Raja should be. People in his province were rice farmers. The Raja declared that everyone must give nearly all of their rice to him. I will store the rice safely, the Raja promised the people, so that in times of famine, everyone will have rice to eat and no one will go hungry. Each year, the Raja's rice collectors gathered nearly all of the people's rice and carried it away to the royal stores. For many years, the rice grew well. The people gave nearly all of their rice to the Raja and the storehouses were always full, but the people were left with only just enough rice to get by. Then one year, the rice grew badly and there was famine and hunger. The people had no rice to give the Raja and they had no rice to eat. The Raja's ministers implored him your Highness, let us open the royal storehouses and give the rice to the people as you promised. No, cried the Raja. How do I know how long the famine may last? I must have the rice for myself. Promise or no promise, a Raja must never go hungry. Time went on and the people grew more and more hungry, but the Raja would not give out the rice. One day, the Raja ordered a feast for himself and his court. As it seemed to him, a Raja should now and then, even when there is famine. A servant led an elephant from the royal storehouse to the palace, carrying two full baskets of rice. A village girl named Rani saw a trickle of rice was falling from one of the baskets. Quickly, she jumped up and walked along beside the elephant, catching the rice falling from her, in her skirt. She was clever and she began to make a plan. At the palace, a guard cried, Halt, thief, where are you going with that rice? I am not a thief, said Rani. This rice fell from one of the baskets and I'm returning it now to the Raja. When the Raja heard about Rani's good deed, he asked his ministers to bring her before him. I wish to reward you for returning what belongs to me, the Raja said to Rani. Ask me for anything and you shall have it. Your Highness, said Rani, I do not deserve any reward at all. But if you wish, you may give me one grain of rice. Only one grain of rice, exclaimed the Raja. Surely you will allow me to reward you more plentiful, as a Raja should. Very well, said Rani. If it pleases your highness, you, re re you may reward me in this way. Today you will give me a single grain of rice. Then each day, for 30 days, you will give me double the rice you gave me the day before. Thus tomorrow you will give me two grains of rice, the next day four grains of rice, and so on for 30 days. This seems still to be a modest reward, said the Raja, but you shall have it. The Rani was presented with a single grain of rice. The next day, Rani was presented with two grains of rice. And the following day, Rani was presented with four grains of rice. On the ninth day, Rani was presented with 256 grains of rice. She'd received in all 511 grains of rice, only enough for a small handful. This girl is honest, but not very clever, thought the Raja. She would have gained more rice by keeping what fell in her skirt. On the 12th day, Rani received 2,048 grains of rice, about four handfuls. 
On the 13th day, she received 4,096 grains of rice, enough to fill a bowl. On the 16th day, Ronnie was presented with a bag containing 32,768 grains of rice. Altogether, she had enough for two full bags. This doubling adds up more rice than I expected, thought the Raja, but surely her reward won't amount to much more. On the 20th day, Rani was presented with 16 more bags filled with rice. On the 21st day, she received 1,048,576 grains of rice, enough to fill a basket. On the 24th day, Rani was presented with 8,388,608 grains of rice, enough to fill eight baskets, which were carried to her by a royal deer. On the 27th day, 32 brown bulls were needed to deliver 64 baskets of rice. The Raja was deeply troubled. One grain of rice has grown very great indeed, he thought, but I shall fulfill the reward in the end, as a Raja should. On the 29th day, Rani was presented with the contents of two royal storehouses. On the 30th day and final day, 256 elephants crossed the province, carrying the contents of the last four royal storehouses, 536,870,912 grains of rice. Altogether, Rani had received more than one billion grains of rice. The Raja had no more rice to give. And what will you do with all this rice? The Raja said with a sigh, now that I have none. I shall give it to the, all the hungry people, said Rani, and I shall leave a basket of rice for you too, if you promise from now on to take only as much as rice as you need. I promise, said the Raja. And for the rest of his days, the Raja was truly wise and fair as a Raja should be. And this is a table with a breakdown of all the rice that Rani received. One on the first day, two on the second day, and then that was doubled to four on the third day, and then four was doubled to eight on the fourth day, and that was doubled to 16 on the fifth day, and it continued doubling all the way through. It says here, from one grain of rice to one billion. Each day, Ronnie received double the amount of rice as the day before. See how quickly one grain of rice doubles into so much more. To count how many of grains of rice Ronnie received in all, add all these numbers together. The answer is 1,073,741,823, more than one billion grains of rice. The end.